Hello everybody, how you doing today? My name is Nick and welcome to my channel where today we're going to be continuing with Friends Season 4. Uh, before this starts, I just want to say real quick, I'm sorry about the intro situation stuff. Uh, there, there was a little bit of a break in Season 4 with Friends. That was only because of copyright, because I don't know why the copyright was very harsh for some reason on the earlier episodes of like Season 4 and Season 3. So I did have to wait 30 days for like the claims to be released on lots of these upcoming videos. So I do apologize about the delay. Like, I think it was after episode 7 of season 4. But as we're recording this now, we are on season 9, about halfway through right now. Uh, seriously, really loving this show. And to be honest, the only reason why I'm kind of making, I guess, th this intro for this episode is just because this is probably the first time in the show where, I don't want to say things get heated, but uh, the, the emotions are a little bit high <laughs> in this episode. There's, there's a part in... One of these episodes where Cody and I both got a, a a little bit angry and I just want to tell you guys I've been hearing this comment since we started the show. I know it's a comedy. I understand that there are still some things that might bother Cody and I. And so I do apologize if anyone gets really mad at what we say in the episode. I don't want to like spoil anything, but I feel like there definitely is going to be a divisive part in this episode. Some people are not going to like what Cody and I have to say. Some people are going to heavily disagree with us. And just that that is completely fine. To be honest, I do want to hear you guys' opinion. So, you know, if you guys disagree with us, please feel free to let me know. And, you know, I, I would love to have a discussion with lots of you guys. I had a lot of discussions with people on Patreon. Definitely think there, there were moments, you know, where I may go overboard, Cody may go overboard in, I guess, how serious we take the show. And also, especially at the point of the show we're at now, definitely some parts where maybe I wouldn't have gotten as emotional. And same with Cody, if, you know, we if we knew some of the stuff that happens in the future. Yeah, I really just wanted to say like, if if people are really upset by some of the stuff Cody and I say in this episode, I, once again, I apologize. I'm not trying to make anyone mad or anything. I just don't want to also hold back. And then that was a big thing Cody and I kind of talked about the past couple weeks is with season five, six, seven, eight, like lots of these later seasons, there are moments where Cody and I say stuff and I, I don't know how much of it I want to include on YouTube. You know, on Patreon, people loved our discussion, like everything we had to say, they like how long they are. And, you know, I, well, again, I just, I don't like making people mad with my reactions. And so, you know, with this episode, I decided to leave everything in, but I just also want to let you guys know for some of the future episodes, there may be some parts that are um, not, not heavily cut, but just parts of it are cut. And that's only just so, you know, so some things Cody and I might say, people may take the wrong way. And so I... I want to make sure that, you know, I still give you guys what Cody and I are thinking in the moments of watching the episodes without also revealing too much, if that makes sense. Like, I, I don't want to, if I go on like a 10 minute rant, for example, I, I'm not saying I do this, but like if I go on a 10 minute rant, I, I might cut it down to like five minutes and same with Cody. I'm reaching the point in the show right now where Cody and I definitely do have a lot of strong feelings towards things. And it definitely is kind of a tricky situation to navigate. So... You know, once again, uh, please feel free to let us know in the comments if you guys have any strong feelings towards what Cody and I say in one of these episodes. But, you know, this season has been incredible. I cannot wait for you guys to see the finale reaction. With season five, I do just want... It's not definite yet, but there is a good chance season five might all just be one video. It's going to be either one video or three videos. It depends on how I split this up. But I, I do want to let you guys know that season five will be a little bit different just because of some of the issues with my audio there's about like 10 episodes in season five where unfortunately i have no audio i stole my video but the audio is gone uh people on patreon still seem to love it so you know i'm hoping that the episodes still turn out well but i know how big of a season season five is so you know i just want to kind of i guess apologize in advance for that too because I'm trying to make it work where it's not so noticeable but there, there were definitely going to be parts in season five where Unfortunately, there are going to be some episodes where just, you know, it's going to be cut down a little bit more just because with me talking with no audio, it definitely is going to be distracting for the reaction. So I'm going to have to cut a lot of that out. But seriously, thank you guys so much for watching Cody and I on this journey. It's been so fun. And, you know, I know I haven't been so consistent. I've been getting there except for the break I took because of the copyright situation. But I'm pretty sure we're back to a normal schedule now. So once again, thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction. And let's just hop right into it. Friends, season four, episode 18. Hey! Hey! Wow, it is true what they say. Pregnant bellies look like a drum. <laughs> no, it's just... I'm so pregnant that I, my guitar doesn't fit anymore. So I thought, till I'm not, I'm just gonna play oh. all my songs on this drum. It sounds really <laughs> cool. It's many cats. Oh no, it's many cats. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, 
Joey's in it. I feel like Joey, deep down inside, is not not as supportive as he lets us believe. I came down to ask you a big favor. Oh, well, don't tell me you want to keep more of your stuff in my uterus. <laughs> I want to name the girl baby Leslie, and um, Frank wants to name one of the boy babies Frank Jr. Jr. Wait, how do you know it's... Wouldn't that be Frank the Third? Don't get me started. <laughs> how do we... No, wait, don't... How do we know the gender, though, already? Yeah, no, we, we don't know the gender. We would be truly honored if you would name the other boy baby. <laughs> That's gonna cause oh, an attachment, cougar. though. Yeah. You think about it. I mean, it is... It is her brother's kid, but I get what you're saying. Like, if the attachment's too strong, she might not want to give it up in a way. This way, the job's a joke, bro. I was gonna say, if I named a puppy, I wouldn't want to give it back. I left a bra drying on the shower rod. You don't think your son will think it's yours and be horribly traumatized? Hey, mommy can have a wife, daddy can have a bra. <laughs> That's a fair compromise. Still have 17 minutes. Huh, what can we do in 17 minutes? <laughs> Okay, uh, you can ignore that. It's, it's... That's Carol with your son. Uh, oh. Believe me, when he's older, he'll understand. No. <laughs> I'll be right there. Hi. Hello. Oh, he looks Hello. much bigger. Susan's going to be shooting a commercial in London next week. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm so excited. I've never been there. Oh, well, I'll show you around. Oh, that'd be... Oh, that's so nice. So, hoping to catch a show, so if you can make any suggestions. I'll go with you. Ah. <laughs> Look at you two bonding. <laughs> Making us late for the airport, so... It's just us getting along is difficult for him because he doesn't like me. Well, oh, come on, that's, that's, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So why she just said it though? We have a baby name yet? Ugh, no. It's so hard. I went through this whole book and found nothing. You know, like like Exxon. <laughs> oh, please, you want a strong name? How about the Hulk? No, Joey, no. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not sure about Hulk, but I like the idea of a name starting with the. What about just Bruce, if you want to go with the Hulk? <laughs> go with Joey. Joey's your pal. Joey's your buddy. Hey, you know what? If you're going to do that, if you're going to name him Joey, you should name him Chandler. Oh, come on. Chandler's funny, he's sophisticated, and he's very lovable. But the thing about Joey is, if you need him, he'll be there. Oh, don't try to confuse Phoebe. It's her choice. But he'll be there, and he'll bring you some cold soda if what you need him for is that you're really hot. Oh, okay. what do you say? What do you say? I like the idea of naming him after someone I love. And Joey and Chandler are both great names. <laughs> All right, I don't... Maybe I will just name him the Hulk. <laughs> I shouldn't have mentioned it. That's what I wanted to name my kid. <laughs> we don't all get what we want, do we? <laughs> Hoping to sleep with Joshua for the first time tonight, which one of these would you want to be wearing? The left. Really creeps me out choosing other people's sex clothes. <laughs> Waiting for this for months. Got my hair colored. Making him a very fancy meal. Mm -hmm. What am I making him, by the way? Well, oh, you're making Monica do it. With goat cheese and pine nuts. Well, I thought I was making them filet mignon. Yeah, you were, but then you decided to make salmon because you had some left over at the restaurant. And then you realized if you bitched about it, then you would stop cooking and you would have to make your famous baked potato and Diet Coke. <laughs> so, uh, Emily called last night, and now you're giving me the message? Emily is just crazy about Susan. Oh. They're going to the theater together. They're going horseback riding. <laughs> God, Susan is so fun. <laughs> Look, this is just a little too familiar. Okay, for, for like six... Oh, don't think about that, Ross. Heard was, my friend Susan is, is so smart. My... Aw, she's not gonna steal Susan. Right? Think that something could happen between Emily and Susan? Hey, they're going to the gym together. As friends! Women do that. <laughs> Stretching. <laughs> you know, they, they take a steam together, things get a little playful. Didn't you see personal best? No, but I'm gonna. <laughs> I mean, we thought Carol was straight before I married her. Yeah, I'm definitely. I don't like the name Ross. Okay, Phoebe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what a weird way to kick me when I'm that down. Exactly. <laughs> well, it's just, you know, something like this would never happen to, like, the Hulk, you know. <laughs> Actually, that, that's not true. In The Incredible Hulk, uh, number 72, Dr. Bruce Banner found... Uh, never mind, my girlfriend's a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> I said I'm definitely gonna go with either Joey or Chandler. Oh, there are no famous Joeys, except for <laughs> Joey Buttafuoco. That's not true at all, actually. Chanoey. Hey, look, Joey, Chinoe? come on, think about it. First of all, 
He'll never be president. I mean, there's never gonna be a President Joey. I don't want to bring this up, but Chandler is the stupidest name I've heard in my life. Oh my God. It's not even a name. It's barely even a word, okay? It's I'm a not gonna stupid, lie. I've never stupid, met anybody named Chandler. non name. Oh no. You're right. I have a horrible, horrible name. You're fine. I'm sorry, man. I, I was gonna say, you I'm better sorry. apologize, okay. Joey. <laughs> so I guess it's Joey then. I mean, <laughs> Joey, just let her choose. Thank you for doing this. Oh, please. Cooking soothes me. <sighs> so dig in. Right. Oh, it all looks so good. Mm, my God, this is so, this rice is so, I am so good. <laughs> Behind you. Oh. oh. They used to live here and sometimes they migrate back over. <laughs> <laughs> is, there, uh, is there some way that they could... Uh... Oh, he's afraid. A farm bird's really kind of freaked me out. Here we go. Here we go. Whoop. I thought he was going to say he's allergic. I thought he was oh, afraid of him. He's actually really scared. Hey, how'd you do that? <laughs> it's my only weird thing, I swear. And I, I would have told you about it, but I didn't know that they would be here. <laughs> well, nobody would expect a chicken and a duck to be in an apartment. <laughs> okay. So, can I serve you oh, a little... Oh, he's still of... scared. What? What's... What? Still out there. <laughs> but they're across the hall. I mean, that's two doors away. It's gonna take them a long time to peck their way back over here. That's... That's not funny. <laughs> that's really traumatized. <laughs> feel better if we went someplace else? I mean, we could pack all this stuff up and, you know, go to your apartment. Oh, uh, they're working on it this week. It's a total mess. I'm staying at my parents' house. We could go there. Your parents? Ooh. Yeah, they're out of town. <laughs> yeah, they, they can smell the fear. <laughs> it's funny, but it's not funny. I get, I get it. I asked him what he wanted to do. He said no, so he's sweeping. <laughs> Any word from Susan? Oh, yeah. She said she is having so much fun with Emily. So, did it ever occur to you that, I don't know, maybe they might be having a little too much fun? You know, the kind of fun you and Susan had when we were married. <laughs> oh my God, you are so paranoid. Am I? Yes. Am I? Is in a loving, committed relationship. Uh -huh. Carol, so were we. Don't freak her out. Say they're, they're coming back from the theater and they, they stop at a pub for a couple of drinks. They're laughing, you know. Someone innocently touches someone else. You're telling me there isn't even the slightest possibility of something. I do get why he's paranoid, but I think he's going over the top. Maybe. Oh my God, I didn't really believe it until you just said it. <laughs> <laughs> you put it in her head though. I mean, he did do pretty good at wording it correctly. Duck yeah. pushed me. Wow, this place is fabulous. Yeah, yeah, let me show you around. This, uh, my parents just moved here. Oh, well, you should know this place is a real bait magnet. <laughs> I put the food in the fridge and we can eat it later. Is there a, a place that I could go freshen up? Just down the hall and uh, second door to your left. Uh, oh, hi, oh. Charlie. Oh. Dad, what are you guys doing here? Oh, well, we cut the trip oh. short. France sucks. <laughs> France sucks? A little weird, but uh, I've got a date here. I almost say no more. We'll just grab some food and take it with us upstairs, and we'll be right out of your hair. Oh, oh that, that, that'd be great. <laughs> so you didn't even get to Italy? Yep, sucks. <laughs> what the? Oh. Oh, they're so gonna come down. Hi, you. <laughs> that was the most awkward hi you I'd ever heard. <laughs> you more than cook. <laughs> I like her. She seems smart. <laughs> what? what? He had to think about it. <laughs> so nice uh, to meet you. Uh, Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh -huh. That $500 was for groceries. <laughs> This, no, oh no, 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 no this is not, that's, that's so wrong to say. I work in fashion. See, and, and this is a real dress. Wear the clothes, and then I see how people respond, and then I report back to my superiors at USA not ready. Maybe in LA. Yes. There you go. <laughs> so, have you kids eaten yet? <laughs> no. That after. I mean, um. Wow, well, after. 
Next. Well, we're starving. Why don't we just all go get something to eat? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, no use wasting this baby just lying around the house. Oh. We'll be eating, and of course, you'll be wearing that. Oh, the dad. <laughs> From now on, I have no first name. What the heck? Your name's gonna be Bing? Bing? <laughs> I have no name. <laughs> Clint. No way are you cool enough to pull off Clint. Okay, so what name am I cool enough to pull off? Um, Gene. <laughs> Gene. See you later, Bye, Gene. Bye, Gene. Oh, I know, just gonna say it's Gene. It's Clint! <laughs> Clint! Wore your nighty to dinner? Oh, yeah. And uh, the best part, though, was when the uh, waiter spilled water down my back, I jumped up, and my boob popped out. Ooh. <laughs> oh, no. No, it's all right. I got nice boobs. <laughs> A message from Emily. She and Susan are going to a poetry reading together. Susan's gay. <laughs> They're being gay together. <laughs> Since when is poetry gay? <laughs> like, when did that start? Wow. <laughs> Carol really messed you up. Yeah. Excuse me? Yeah, she turned you into this, this, this untrusting, crazy, jealous sycophant. I don't know what you're talking about. I am not a crazy, jealous person. Huh. <laughs> what? She's totally right. When we were together, you got all freaked out about Mark and there was nothing going on. In high school, you weren't jealous at all, even though all your girlfriends were cheating on you. <gasps> <laughs> Carol left him and bam, paranoid city. I mean, his wife did leave him. I feel you'd be a little paranoid. <laughs> this is not fun. <laughs> all we're trying to say is don't let what happened with Carol ruin what you've got with yeah. Emily. Yeah. The 92, Ross Wooden. Am I a Mark or a John? Nah, uh, you're not tall enough to be a Mark. <laughs> what? But you might make a good barn. <laughs> <laughs> I am serious, okay? Tomorrow at 3.30, I'm going down to the courthouse. No, Chandler, don't Actually change your name. Actually going through with this? Wait, look, this name has been holding me back my entire life. Okay, it's probably why kids picked on me in school and why I never do well with women. Chandler is a great name. In fact, Wow. I'm sorry, I know you really wanted me to name the baby Joey, but so I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna name the baby Chandler. Really? Oh, wow. Really? Yeah, but you have to keep the name too. Okay. <laughs> yay. Hey. Yay, oh, yay. Okay. Bye, He's gonna say okay, this was his plan all along. <laughs> oh, it so was. <laughs> it so was. <laughs> it was. That's insane. <laughs> That was commitment right there. I'll give him that. Flight oh, wow, they're waiting together. Now arriving at gate 17. Hey! Hey! Oh, Hey! It's no time. Oh. <laughs> that's, a, that's a thing, though. They, they do the kiss on the cheeks. Oh, my God. That was a lot. <laughs> I gotta admit, the name plot was like, it was pretty good to me, but just the Ross jealousy thing was so funny to me because it's like, I do get him being a little paranoid because it is literally what happened with Carol. But at the same time, I think he took it to an extreme in a way. They like, had a point. Like, he was a little, yeah, he was a little much. Who is that? Is that the dad? No, who's that guy? You have to do that. It's Saturday. Oh, come on. Morning's here. <laughs> Morning's here. <laughs> I hate this apartment. I hate the color of these walls. I hate the fact that this place still smells like bird. <laughs> I hate that singing guy. Are you kidding? I love that guy. <laughs> Morning's here. <laughs> Joey. Gotta love I Joey. I will kill you. <laughs> I have all the space I need. Just do what I did. Monica, you don't even have a bed. You sleep Ooh. in a ball on the floor. What? <laughs> okay, I, I worked really hard at making this a nice place for us to live. She did. She did, though. Yeah, the furniture's nice. Okay. See, this is a great apartment. Shut up. This place is a hole. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Monica. <laughs> uh, I thought she was fine with it, but yeah, I mean, it is a lot smaller than the <laughs> regular place. Yeah. 
You think they're ever going to switch back? I don't know. Maybe. I kind of hope so. I don't know. It just it feels weird. But like, I like Joey and Chandler being in that in that apartment. Yeah, I was about to say like, may, like I hope at least like the rest of this season it stays there, and then maybe like you know next season or the season after they switch back. But I, I kind of do like the fact like they they won, they get the reward in a way. Maybe they'll do another bet. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the, yeah. The Still can't believe you've got an earring. Huh? Oh, I know, oh. I know. who am I, David Bowie? <laughs> <laughs> when did you get an earring? You know what? I never would have gotten this if it weren't for you. Ross has an earring before me. That's weird. I'm, I'm like this, this whole other guy. I love that guy. I wish I didn't have to go. Then don't stay here. Just don't go so soon to London. Just one more oh, day. Oh, Ross, one please more day. don't Seriously. do this to me again. I've already missed so much of my work. They'll fire me. So? Well, then you can stay as long as you want. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could. Oh, no, don't, don't, don't start packing. Come on. Ross, Ross, wow. you gotta let me go to work. You understand packing. <laughs> Look, I just don't want to leave it till the last minute. My knickers here. Yeah, I oh. know. I uh, I tried them on. No, no, I didn't. I didn't want to be that guy. Oh. <laughs> okay, I was about to be like Ross. <laughs> She's wearing Santa Claus pants. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Your pants. Oh, yeah. You like them? I just, I went to a used clothes store and got like a bunch of maternity stuff. These are so comfortable. I am shocked. That's what she chose. Uh, Phoebs, those are uh, those are Santa pants. No, uh, they're maternity pants. Look, they even came with a list of baby names. A girl. See? These names. Are How do you not know? Oh, Phoebe, Phoebe. Oh. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Hey, Phoebs. So, how are the elves? Your clothes aren't funny. <laughs> hey, guys, what, what should I wear to a Knicks game? Uh, a t-shirt that says, I don't belong here. <laughs> you have Knicks tickets? Yeah, my mom got my dad's season tickets in the divorce. Oh my God, those are almost right on the floor. W do you guys want these? Oh, for the apartment. Yeah, we do. Oh, oh. Well, you got them. Right. <laughs> just give us our apartment back. Wow. Yeah, no. We just no. talked about this, <laughs> no. too. We know what these are worth. <laughs> what do you think, we're stupid? Not stupid. You're meaner than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> giving up my bachelor pad for some basketball seats. Your bachelor pad? Have you even had a girl up here? Joey has, and I usually talk to them in the morning time. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess Janice just never came back to see if he was still here. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Gunther, can I get two cups of Chino, please? Good one. Come on. Season tickets. Do you really want to give it up, though? that means forget it okay i'm not giving up the apartment and he gave season nice tickets apartment. to the number one salesman every year all right my dad never won oh my god <laughs> we don't make enough fun of you already what? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah emily convinced me to do it oh she convinced you you do know that wham broke up <laughs> <laughs> emily likes it and that's what counts do you like it though so uh where's emily oh She's saying goodbye to her uncle. Man, didn't she just like, just get here? Yeah, yeah. Easy, oh Tiger. <laughs> I just, I hate this so much. There's nothing to do. I mean, she lives there, I live here. I mean, she, she'd have to Is he gonna here. move there to see She should with move her? here. She's gonna live with me. Are you serious? Why not? I mean, I mean, why not? Because you've only known her six yeah. weeks. <laughs> it's way too soon. It's literally only been that long. But guys, when I'm with her, it's, it's, it's like, uh, she brings out this 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 great I know but Ross you, you can't rush this you gotta wait out the honeymoon phase dude exactly <laughs> but I'm not gonna ask some British girl to move in with me <laughs> he's right Emily's great she's great but this is way too soon you're only gonna scare her I don't want to do that no you don't want to wreck it you don't want to go too fast I'm not gonna do it all right thanks guys okay no problem just remember to wake us up before you go-go. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Jay was been really funny this episode so far. Last chance for the tickets. 
Otherwise, I give them to my new boyfriend, Joshua. Wait, wait, wait. Come on, come on, let's trade. <laughs> the timing's perfect. I just clogged the toilet. <laughs> Look, I want those basketball seats as much as you do, okay? But we can't live in the small apartment after we've lived here. Didn't you ever read Flowers for Algernon? Come on, we can go to the game tonight. Look, the only way I will even consider this is if they offer a lot more than just yeah. season seats. But it's the Knicks! Screw the Knicks! Whoa! Oh, okay. <laughs> Now we're, now we're crossing lines. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Yeah, I'm sure you didn't. I just meant that the apartment is worth so much more. And the Knicks rule all. Yeah, the Knicks rule all. What if you could keep the apartment and get the tickets? Done. Let me finish. Oh, I'm you talking about a bet. Ding. All right, so what do you say? No. Yeah. Just do it. Oh, oh, I'm convinced. <laughs> Come on, man. I wouldn't want to give up an apartment like that either. Yeah. Joey, you could literally lose everything though. I'm in. Hey! Right. Okay. Oh, uh, so ex oh, oh, I have a game! Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. This is uh, great! What's the game? What's the game? Um, well, it doesn't have a name. But no, okay. Phoebe Ball. What is your favorite thing about trees? <laughs> what? They're green. Good, good, five points! Alright! <laughs> this is not fair. They're tall. Ooh, three points. What? Oh, I don't like this. Both fine answers, but we were looking for leafy, leafy. You want to finish this right now? All right, we get a deck of cards, high card wins. What do you say? Fine, let's do it. Mm, okay. Okay, you guys, uh, you guys pick first. Okay, okay. okay. This is going to be a, such a game of chance here. Four. That's yeah. a low one. Oh. Ace! Ah! Yeah. Oh, they did this time, but she thought it was high or low. Oh. Why are you screaming and hugging? Oh, because we want our apartment back. What? Ace Aces is high. are always Jack, higher. Queen, King, Ace. No, so sometimes they play Aces low. Yeah. Really? It depends on how you play. Some people play oh. and stuff. They'll play Aces low. I, I don't know. <laughs> ooh, ooh. All right, cut. Let's pick again. Pick again. All right, give me, give me, give me. Okay. Well, you got to decide if Aces low or high. Come on, apartment. I know queen is high. Uh, not as high as the king. What? King. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we, we pick again. We pick again. Why? Why? I don't know. No, they. they I was gonna won. say you can't get higher than king in that way. <laughs> this is a good game, though. Good game. <laughs> what are they so mad about? They got the apartment back. No, they, Joey. Joey. No, they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I love about Joey the most. He never has a clue of what's going on sometimes. He really doesn't. He never understands. I left some knickers under your pillow. Move in with me. Wow, that was fast. What? Don't be scared. <laughs> Ross, you're pushing this so fast. Soon, but just, just think. Think how great it would be. Oh, leaving London. Uh, my whole family lives there. No. Uh, my job. Well, so you'll get a job here. I mean, I'm always hearing about uh, the foreigners coming in and stealing American jobs. That could wow. be you. Yeah, but it's my whole life. You come to England. No, I oh. can't. I would. I really would. But my son is here. I can't. Could you imagine yeah. if Ross did? <laughs> yeah, but with his son. I mean, it would be different if it was way into the future and, and, and we were getting married or something. What? Oh, uh, no. Ross, no. Ross, no. Uh, please don't go freaky on me. Ross, don't. I didn't mean it. Well, I didn't say it. I take it back. No, no, don't. Ross. No. Why don't we? Ross. No. This is six Ross. weeks. <laughs> Get married. You are mad. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, honestly. Yeah, no. Like, we're not doing that. No. And you just, just moving here because it's us together forever. And that's, that's what I... It's a sweet thing, but like, it's just way too soon. Exactly. Yeah. I was with Carol for four years before we got married, and I wound up divorced from a pregnant lesbian. <laughs> that sounds bad. I mean, this, like, this makes sense for us. Last night, I got my ear pierced. <laughs> Me. <laughs> this feels right. I don't, I don't know, dude. My parents are going to be really mad. <laughs> Is that, uh, are you saying Wait, yes? Wait, she said yes? yes? Yes. Wow. Yes! Yes! We're getting, we're getting oh, I don't know. Oh my god, yes! I want to be happy like, for him so badly, but... 
Exactly. I want to be happy for them, but it's just, I, like, some people have done it in, I guess, a couple of weeks, but, like, that's just, I don't think they should. I think they gotta wait till the honeymoon phase, like you said. Emily, will you marry me? Yes. I don't know what to say. Are him and Rachel really never gonna end up? Like, are they actually gonna go through with this? I thought that was gonna be romantic as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, by the way, like, I know some, I don't know, some people are, like, happy about this. I just, I feel like this is just such a mistake I mean, in a way. I'm happy for him, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm happy for anybody that's ready for that step, but it's been six weeks. I know, that's but, the thing. I just don't think they're ready for that step My, my policy has always been a year, like, at mm. least. Very nice. Plus, you know, they were free and they're too small. <laughs> That's what not did, fair. What did they do? Hey, they switched their stuff. Whoa! We'll discuss it in the morning. No. They were getting screwed over so hard. Like, that's so wrong. What the hell is going on? We took our apartment back. You can't do that. Why are people cheering though in the audience? Like, okay, it was my idea, Baby. but I don't feel good about it. <laughs> oh, oh! We are switching back right now. Seriously? No, we're not. We're not leaving. There's nothing you can do to stop us, right, Joe? I don't know. The, no, this is that. Th this is wrong. No. What? I don't want to move again with that. I know, Joey, but like they they took it. Care. This is our apartment, yeah. and they stole. You stole. Yeah, they tricked them with the tickets. Twice, and I'm getting it back right now. I'm Seriously. getting it back right now. Like, they, like this is actually infuriating me. Like, there's no way they actually did right. this. Let us keep the apartment, and as a thank you, Rachel and I will kiss for one minute. <laughs> what? <laughs> totally worth it. Oh, I that was one good minute. I mean, they're okay with it. I just, I think that was so sneaky. Like, that's just so wrong. Men are such idiots. No. Can you believe something that stupid actually got us our apartment back? I think if you had just done that right after the last contest, no one would have had to move at all. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend that's not true. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like okay. that, though. No, I'm kind of mad about that. I there's so well, much to process on? in this Ross episode. Ross has some big thing to tell everyone. Seriously. Uh, oh, they're so not gonna respond well. <clears throat> Emily and I, we decided to, uh, to get married. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, are you pregnant too? Phoebe? <laughs> <laughs> Just decided to, to go for it. I mean, we know it's a bit hasty, but, uh... Oh. Oh. I'm, I was just telling the guys. Yeah, I, I heard. I think it's great. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm so happy for you. Well, yeah, we... I don't know. I can't believe you're getting married. Yeah. Monica and Rachel made out. <laughs> <laughs> That's all Joey's gonna be thinking about. <laughs> That's it. The morning scene. <laughs> Sunshine is here. The sky is. <laughs> this appears. There she said, we're good together. Tomorrow morning. Okay. He got so excited about it, too. Like, okay, I don't know how I feel about all that. Oh, boy. I, I just want to say before we start the next one, I might include some of this in the outro, but I just. Like, even though we're not really talking directly, you know, but it's just, I don't know if you felt the same way I did. I think you did, but just. It, like, it's not even about the fact that, like, they were okay with it. It's just the fact that they moved their stuff when they were not around. And by that yeah, point, I... it was also like, I don't care about the move. But it's like, you know, they did so sneakily. It was so sneaky, I didn't like it. I, I didn't like it because you wouldn't do that to friends. Like, that's something exactly. that you, people you exactly. don't like. And, like, exactly. sure, was it funny? Sure. But, like, if you're actually taking time to look into it there, that was really low, for even for Rachel yeah. and Monica to do that. Because... And it, 
They won the, the apartment fair and square twice. Now, if the roles were reversed and Chandler and Joey did that, the audience would have been furious. And no, and I will say this directly to the camera. There ain't no way anybody would convince me otherwise that that's not how you'd feel. Well, that's what I'm getting. When I saw the audience laugh, I think that actually made me more upset because it's like, you know, I guess it's kind of funny, but like, we're, like if they just kissed, right? And they're like, give us the apartment back and we'll kiss. And they said, yes, I would actually be okay. I'd be like, okay, you know what? That's what they want. That's fine. Yeah. But it's just, they backed them into the corner where it's like they already moved everything. So it felt like they had to just agree to agree, you know? And they knew it was wrong because Monica was like, we'll talk about it in the morning. Like, no, like yeah, you just exactly. stole off <laughs> exactly. our apartment right now. Yeah. Whereas I, I, I will say though, <laughs> Ross and the marriage thing, I think, even though I think it's way too fast and stuff, that I can kind of be like, that's just between them in a way. Like, that's not something I would get like mad over. I just maybe think it's too right. soon. But the apartment thing, I actually was, you know, I still am a little bit mad about that. Yeah, I think that that was just, it was really not in character for them what i would expect yeah. them to be like well especially monica who always loves following the rules and everything i just i thought she would i thought rachel might be like let's do it and monica would be like no like you know they won the bet fair and square when they get back we'll talk about it and see like what they want to do and maybe once again maybe cody and i are reading too much into it i just seriously i will not back down if someone says like they love that that's fine i personally just did not like how they went down that's the other thing like monica is such a like she likes to win she yeah. loves to yeah. win and instead of winning, she was a sore loser. And I don't like that. Yeah, because it kind of yeah. negates her entire character right there. Rachel, I feel like definitely would have been like, let's do this. But Monica would have at least been like, no, we have to wait until we actually win something right. to earn it back. You know? And then Phoebe, of all people, being like, oh, this was my idea. Why? She made the game! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Phoebe's game. Like, there's so much to process with that. <laughs> okay, let's let's just go on. I'm sorry. Yeah, that no, no, you're lot. fine. Like... No, no, and seriously, like, I, I feel the same way. I'm glad we actually feel the same way about this because I was about to be like, I know Cody and I probably were different on this, but, like, I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of glad because in a way, I just, I feel like if you just have friends that you kind of respect and stuff, if one of my friends did that to me, I would be so, like, mad in a way. I'd be like, you lost. You have to get it back by a different way. You know? Right. Like, I don't, I don't mind if they got it back. I just think the way is just terrible. Yeah. All right, let's... <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, Spend we'll, a we'll... whole episode talking yeah. about this. Are you kidding me? Oh, we can do that? Joey, 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 Joey. Probably because the rooms are thinner walls again. Joey, Joey, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> Did this just start happening? Oh. Oh, oh, did, did, did I wake you? <laughs> <laughs> I love all in the first half, like they have the butt smacking thing, and then this one they have the this thing, <laughs> like the arm thing. Gunther, can I get another cup of coffee, please? Work in here. You don't need to fill these silences. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> I'm drinking lots of cups of coffee because I'm exhausted because Joey started snoring. He's in a different room. He's really that loud. Oh, you should hear me. <laughs> I have to go to a sleep clinic. I told you, I'm not going to any clinic. You should go to a quit being a baby and leave me alone clinic. Ooh. Wow. Hey, you just had your first class. You know, I used to go out with this guy that was a really light sleeper, and whenever I'd start to snore, he'd just roll me over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I would stop snoring. Next time you snore, I'm rolling you over. <laughs> dum, 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 dum. Oh, the Olympics. <laughs> No. I still cannot believe you're engaged. Just because it's happening so fast, not because you're such a loser. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's not doing the dishes. And I'll tell you something, you know, I'm not doing them this time. I don't care if those dishes just sit in the sink. Monica, you know you're going to. I do want to get home. Yeah. And, um, Emily found this wedding dress in London. Already? Yeah, but it didn't fit. Well, luckily, there's a store here that has one left in her size, but I'm the groom. I'm not supposed to see I'll the dress. I'll pick it up for you. Thank you. Okay. Whoopa! <laughs> What's wapa? <laughs> the whip. <laughs> wapa! <laughs> Whipped is. Whoosh. Yeah. That's what I did. No, but you did wapa. No. Wapa! Yeah. <laughs> you can't do anything! <laughs> the fact that that's coming from Joey. Like, oh, there's that many dishes? Rachel.
Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey, do you, uh, you have a minute? Yeah, yeah. I, I was just about to take a break anyways. So. I know you and I haven't really had a chance to talk since, uh, Emily and I decided to get married, and I was just wondering how you were. Really? I mean, I know if you were getting married, uh, I, mean, I, I would feel uh, kind of, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm okay. Yeah? Yeah, you know. Okay. Well, I, I just wanted to check. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> You're great. Mm -hmm. And I, I know someday this will happen for you, too. I'm still just so shocked, like, they're probably not going to be together. I mean, maybe you have not heard of a little serious relationship called me and Joshua. <laughs> oh, You guys well, are just as fast as they are. Like four dates. Yeah. I didn't realize uh, that had become anything. Oh, yeah. No, oh, no. Oh, no, no. That has become. It has, oh. Yeah. Oh, no. Those were four great dates. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, and the connection? I mean, you know, mentally, you know, <laughs> physically. <Yeah>. Rachel. <laughs> they haven't even slept together yet. That's incredible. Oh, no, isn't it? It's like, I'm right there with Joshua. Uh -huh. You are right there with Emily. It's a tie. She, she definitely doesn't no. want to express, like, how she truly feels. You, you're right, yeah. though. Yeah, well, I gotta, get, I gotta get back to my dishes. Oh, I gotta get to work. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> you know what would make me really I'll happy? Wait. Oh, you know what's that? If like the four of us could all, uh, you know, hang out together. I, I don't know, Ross. We all have dinner, say Sunday night. That would be great. All right, right it's a date. Yeah. Uh... Hang in there. You hang in there. My God. <gasps> oh, look at this one. You know, about half of these are gonna end up getting divorced. Um, I'm here to pick up a dress that you have on hold. Yes, what's the name, please? Emily Waltham. Oh, yes, I have it right here. That's oh, a wow. beautiful wow. dress. Would you like to try it on, Miss Waltham? Okay. Mo Mo Monica, Monica, that's on your dress. I almost said Monica. Rachel. Monica! <laughs> the most beautiful bride I've ever seen. <laughs> I am, aren't I? Miss Waltham. Yes? We're closing. Oh, how long has it been? How long have you been there? And could I get my ring back? <laughs> All right, buddy. Oh, this has got to be Time to roll for him. No, 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 no. <laughs> you are going to a clinic. You're going to a clinic. She but did he roll out his stomach? Yes, I believe she does. Does she use the plates? Yes, I believe she does. Don't put it on, Monica. What Monica. the heck are you doing? Thank you very much. I know you like the dress, but no, that's hers. She's gonna ruin it. Uh, just a second. No, no, let me in. Phoebe? Yeah. yeah can you hold on just one minute? <laughs> <laughs> what, what is you? happening here? Like, what are we doing? Oh my goodness. I'm so tired. It's six o'clock. You and Joshua are going out to dinner with Ross and Emily, and I think that's, I think that's really cool. Yeah, Rachel, I think you're handling that really well. I ain't handling it. There's nothing to handle. Oh, come on, you can't lie to them. Problem with this, if it wasn't for me and Joshua, you know, they're not gonna get married anyway. It seems like they are, Rachel. They rushed into this thing so fast, it's ridiculous. I mean, they're gonna be engaged for like, what, a year? I call the whole thing off. Well, Rachel is the only one with marriage experience at the moment. Well, and Ross. Ross got married. Oh, yeah, yeah. What am I thinking? <laughs> I look like this. <laughs> hey, man. Hey. What are you guys doing four weeks from today? Nothing. Oh, here Nothing. we go. I am... Four weeks! Three. <laughs> Great, because Emily and I are getting married in a month. Wow. What? Yep. In a month? Yeah. You mean, you mean 30 days? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Now, yeah. now it's sinking in for more. Yeah. <laughs> they get married in this beautiful place that her parents got married, but it's going to be torn down. Oh, that's why. But everything up till now has been so crazy, and I don't know, it, it just feels right, you know? That's the day after I start menstruating. <laughs> what? This isn't mine. <laughs> <laughs> Voice sounded a little squeaky on the phone. Oh, nothing. I 
Just wanted to see you. <laughs> Tell me that you're not gonna try and progress and get to the same stage already. Oh, no, no, there's no way Rachel's gonna do that. <clears throat> you okay? <laughs> I think she's gonna bend to him, honestly. I'm really happy about us. I think we are, I think we are so on the right track, you know? I mean, I think we- Uh-oh. Oh, you're already scaring him. <laughs> Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, we're, 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 we're clicking. Yeah, that I think we, we would need to work on, I, w I would think, it was that we're just not crazy enough. What? Rachel, what are you doing? Rachel, I, I, I mean, like, crazy, you know? Rachel. I don't know what she's trying to do. This is gonna, this is gonna sound, you she know, wa a little, She wants um, to get on the same level. Hasty. But, uh, There's just no go way she's gonna ask. What if we got married? Wait, wow. no, you were Rachel. Right, Cody, there is no way you were right. How? But I mean, it just feels right. Rachel, Don't you think it does. I mean, it just feels right. He's Don't gonna break up with her here. I honestly think he might get too scared away now. Uh, Rachel, um, you're special lady. Yeah. My divorce isn't final yet, it's not and, even and, yet. and we've been on four dates. He's literally not even divorced yet. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah honestly, good on you. Thanks. <laughs> you idiot! Gunther. Gunther, we know. We know. <laughs> we know what you that, want. That was great, though. I'm not going to lie. And did you stay up all night in preparation for your sleep study? Uh, <laughs> sir? Check out that girl. She is really hot. Yes, she, she looks is. so familiar. How you doing? <laughs> you want to know who she is? Christina Moore. See, the name doesn't ring a bell, but like I know her from something I know. I know the name, I just don't know what I know her from. Hi. Do you mind if I? No, it? please. So, uh, what are you in for? I, I talk in my sleep. What a coincidence. I listen in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so, why don't you give me your number? <laughs> why are we doing this? You still have it on? Oh, they've been oh, loving no. this. <laughs> they're gonna ruin it somehow, though. There's gotta be a problem. I mean, they're just tossing flowers right now, but I do think it's just weird Monica still wants it on. <laughs> that was a terrible throw! I'm not gonna throw it right to you. That's not real. <laughs> Look at me. My big concern is what's real. We're really sad, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, I think we are. <laughs> this isn't even my dress. You know, at least you didn't rent yours from a store called It's Not Too Late. Oh. <laughs> I'm changing out of this. Me too. In like a half an hour? Me too. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take it I look down and, and I know this isn't going to be the most special day of my life. I mean, it was kind of fun for a while, but didn't you start feeling kind of silly? I guess. Oh my god! So is Joey gonna stop snoring? Yup. And a beautiful woman agreed to go out with- Oh, we got that number! Joey wanted to ask her out, but, uh, you know, she picked me. <laughs> he was too tired. Because I'm cooler. Chandler, Joey was sleeping. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Joey was unconscious. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you guys! Oh. What's happening? Oh, stop, it's snowing. What is that? Oh, they gave it to me at the sleep clinic, and it's gonna help me not to snore. Well, are you asleep right now, Joe? I don't think you have to wear it unless you are. Tastes good. <laughs> Plus, you look cool. <laughs> well, I did my best to convince him that I'm not some crazy girl who is dying to get married, and I'm just going through a hard time. What'd he say? Well, uh, his answering machine was very understanding. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I bet you anything he's gonna call you again. I don't think he's the one I'm sad about. You know, I know that I said I'm totally okay with Ross getting married. But you are. But as it turns out, I don't think I am handling it all that well. And, and I'm just trying to figure out why. You know how Ross and I have always been on again, off again, on again, off again? I guess I just figured that somewhere down the road, we would be on again. I really did too. You know what? I think we all did. Hey. Hey. Hey.
<laughs> Monica. You can't just throw it though. Like. <laughs> Us reservations for Sunday night, okay? Oh. How about Ernie's at nine o'clock? Oh no! Yeah, well, you uh, better make it for three. I don't know if we're gonna be hungry at three. <laughs> Ross, <laughs> three people. <laughs> Josh was not gonna be there. Oh. Um. Well, I think I think he broke up with me. Oh, why? Well, apparently, he scares easy. <laughs> yeah, I imagine why. Sometimes. Things don't work out the way you thought they would. Come here. Hmm. Oh, she has feelings for him again. Are you okay? Yeah. I got my girls. Hey, you know who might cheer you up? Oh, no. We're going to put what? her in the dress. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd they get a third? <laughs> Oh God, that's Chandler. He's gonna come by and borrow some candles for his big date. Oh, okay. No, no, Rachel, don't get it. He'll yeah. see us. No, yeah, the groom cannot see the bride. <laughs> You're not gonna marry Chandler. Not after this. Phoebe, <laughs> Phoebe. I do. <gasps> I gotta go. Dang, he was gonna come back. Oh no. Yeah, well. That ought to do it. What's your... Fair enough. I can't believe that just happened. 15 minute warning. <laughs> Later. Ah! Oh. <laughs> it's like night cameras? <laughs> Joey! Dude, I am fine. But he says he and Cody and I watching Friends season four, episode 18, 19, 20 for the first time. Uh, I do want to start off just on a great positive note. I thought episode 20 oh. was amazing. The wedding dress thing with Monica trying it on, obviously it's like that's Emily's dress, but just it was so funny just seeing how much more, like Monica loved it. It made it made a lot of sense for me, at least for Monica to like not want to take it off in a way. And the fact she was like cleaning with it and stuff, I really thought she was gonna get it dirty somehow. But the fact she did it, like in the tour it took where like Phoebe got the dress and then at the end Rachel got the dress, I thought that was one of the funniest things. Um, episode 18 was also great. Episode 19, I, I already know some people are not gonna like how Cody and I reacted to it. W once again, just I, I think of this show as like, you know, their friends and just like how I would with my own friends. And if my own friend, lost a bet to me and you know lost something and then they just took it back i just for for me it's just it's not it's not really like something friends should do to each other them getting the apartment like monica and rachel actually getting it by the end i i really don't care about that I, it's, it's just the way it's done like if monica and rachel did the kissing thing or whatever and they were just like yeah that's fine let's do it and then they switched, I would've been fine. And you know, as lo I know Joey and Chandler were fine with it. I just, I think that's something you don't do to friends. Is like, you don't switch your apartment back. It basically make, like even when Chandler approached them, Joey was like, ah, oh, like they already moved it, I don't wanna move back. It's like, you shouldn't have to do that in a way. Like you shouldn't have to be like, oh, okay, like I'll settle. When in reality, like, you know, it shouldn't have happened in the first place. And I know some people are gonna be like, it's funny, it's comedy, whatever, they were gonna get it back anyway. I understand that, just for me, I personally do not think it's something that was right for them to do. But overall, I really did enjoy these past couple episodes, and that was the only thing that, I think in this show, it's like, maybe just kind of mad. <laughs> but, but I'm not like trying to take it out on Monica and Rachel, just I wish it, it ended, I wish it like included in a better way. I, I, will, I will say this, I, I'm mad about it. I am mad about it, because I, yeah. It's like I said in the middle of the reaction. I don't care. People can fight me in the comment section. It's a double standard thing. It really is for me. Because if Ross, and, or not Ross, I keep thinking Ross did it. If Chandler <laughs> and Joey did it and they switched the rooms last minute, you know, paint the picture. Like we'd have dramatic music in the background. Rachel would probably be crying. Like everything would be dramatic. With this, it was treated like it was a joke. And it's almost like, you know what? That probably hurt Chandler and Joey's feelings. It probably really did. And they haven't said it and brought it up yet, but, like, imagine getting the biggest win of your life in a way, and it got taken away from you behind your back, not even, like, to your face. Like, I think I would have had more respect for Monica and Rachel if they said, you know what, heck with it, I don't care that we lost, we're doing it anyway, versus 
Rachel coaxed them into going away for the evening to go to a nice basketball game that they won <laughs> just to come yeah. back to their apartment being flipped. And I would be pissed. I'm not going to lie. I would be bad. And I'd probably never be friends with them again if that was me. Because it's just like there's a principle behind it. And it was like I was saying to Nick earlier, like, I think the thing that's the worst part about it is Monica was involved. <laughs> like, Monica is not that type of character. She is the follow the rules, the OCD, like, I need everything to be perfect all the time. Rachel, I could see being the one to be like, you know what, let's just go ahead and do it. But Monica should have been the one to be like, you know what, this isn't the right way. And I would have liked it better if they did win the bet and they won the the, the apartment back. That would have been yeah. the correct yeah. way to do it. And the last part, Phoebe, I'm actually disappointed in Phoebe. She's supposed to be the yeah. one that holds <laughs> yeah. them all together and is not the crazy one. Like, is not the one that does things like that. And I know people in the comments will probably be like, oh, well, she's pregnant. People do things crazy when they're pregnant. Not that crazy. <laughs> you don't change your whole personality, at least not in the experience that I've seen with my stepmom, and she's had four kids. So, um, but no, other than that, like, I, I, I feel like that one moment for me kind of left my focus for the rest of the episodes, in a way. Like, sure, I'm glad... Ross and Emily are getting married in a way I don't think they should be doing it because it's way too soon. But, you know, it made me not feel as bad for Rachel in this moment with the last episode where she got broken up with and she's very heartbroken about Ross and Emily getting married. It almost made me not feel as bad for her. And that shouldn't be how it should be. It should be you always want to feel consistent with these characters because this isn't like a drama show it's a comedy show and you want to feel happy for everybody um and sad when you you know when they lose something that being said now that i got the negative portions out of the way i mean the positive stuff is this i think there's a lot of foreshadowing with that wedding dress episode i may be looking into it too much but i really do think that all three of them might get married at some point and I'm thinking that the order that they put dresses on each character is how it's going to happen. Like, I feel like Monica's going to go I never first. thought about that. I think that, you know, then it's going to be Phoebe, then it's going to be Rachel. And I think every, if everybody doesn't have to be married at the end of the show for me, but they all need to have happy endings. Um, I don't mean to bring other shows into it. But, like, there's always been one gripe that I've always had with Big Bang Theory, and that was Raja's ending. Raj, I didn't yeah. care for it. It was treated so weird, and I just didn't like it for a series finale. But, like, you know what I'm saying. Like, I feel like there's foreshadowing in this. And for those of you that don't know, like, I was I graduated from a creative writing course. So, like, this is stuff I think about all the time. Where are they going? Because it's what I was taught. <laughs> and I kind of hate it sometimes. Like, I guess things, the right things um, to happen... What did I guess earlier? I just guessed something. You guessed Rachel happen. asking um, the guy to marry yes, her. Yes, I did. Okay. So for that, I will say, some of you might get annoyed by that because I do it a lot in my reactions. I don't like it either. <laughs> but it's just how I am. I can't help it. I'm a very predictable picker-upper. Um, but no, other than that, I think the three episodes were great. I can't wait to see how this ends. And... You know, we only got four episodes left. We really went through this season pretty quickly. Yeah. Like, we yeah. really did. And I think that that's... We, we kind of deserve some sort of props for that because <laughs> we've been so well, invested yeah. in season four that it's ridiculous. I will say to everyone watching, like, we have gone through this season a lot quicker, but at the same time, it's also been because, like, Cody and I just off-screen and stuff, we have been talking about just how much more invested we are in this show and just... Yeah. Especially with this season. Like, I think it was early early season three or like mid season three when we both just were like slowly getting more and more into the show and by the time we reached season four like we both have been like you know even this season like the season ending we've watched like over 10 episodes the past couple of days and then we're probably gonna finish it tonight so it's yeah. it definitely has been a lot for us but we've just been enjoying it so much and i will say the one thing i just i'm still so shocked about that i at least think I'm wrong about is I really thought by the end of the show Ross and Rachel would be together and don't get me wrong it still could happen but I really do feel like the way they're setting it up Emily and Ross will I mean I mean they could get divorced I just I feel like you know the marriage is probably gonna stay and if that's the case I just I'm really gonna be shocked on how 
it ends up with Rachel. Because Rachel already, with the hug with Ross at the end, it made it seem like she still has feelings for him, even though maybe it's maybe I'm reading too much into it. It's not like that. It's just she's kind of sad that Ross is happy and she's not. But I really do feel like maybe she's getting a hint of like liking him again. And I just, I feel like that's such a sad thing in a way where it's like, I want them to be together, but at the same time, I want both of them to be happy. And if Ross is happy with Emily, he should be able to be happy with Emily. Like, I'm, I'm happy that they're getting married in a way. But like Cody said, I definitely do think it is too soon. So that's the only thing where I am wondering, like, if right after the wedding, maybe they get divorced and stuff. I just, I don't think that's the route they're going to go. But yeah, I... I'm, I'm really excited to see how this concludes. I think Rachel might be right. I don't think they're gonna make it to the wedding. Oh, you don't. you don't think they're gonna make it to the wedding? I, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna say why because every season finale ends in something shocking, in something bad, in something cool. Like, look at last season. Last season ended with Phoebe meeting her real mom. That was great, but like, it also ended with a bit of suspense. Did Ross go back to Rachel? Did that was last season finale, right? Season yeah. three. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I thought so. <laughs> Make um, it sure. Make it sure. <laughs> so many things happen in this show that it's hard to remember exactly what episode things happen. Um, but like, you know, with the trend of ending a season, especially when it's not a series finale, like something tragic always happens. And I feel like they're doing Russian roulette with each one of them. Something always happens to one of them. And I feel like it's going to be Ross because – as much as I like the fact that he's happy and he likes this relationship with Emily and he wants to marry her and stuff, I don't know. I feel like he's going to realize this isn't what he wants and that he does want Rachel. I really do think he's going back to her. Because it's like Rachel I, I said, they've that. done this yeah. They've done this on and off thing for how long now? When do they finally decide, hey, either we completely cut each other off or we completely be committed to this? So one of the two has to happen at some point here because they keep planting the seeds. Um, but I do, I do think we're in for some sort of shock at the end of the season. I will actually say like Cody is right. Most of them have been shocking. I just, at least in my opinion, it's like season three ended with the suspense of Rachel and Ross. I, I would love if, you know, that, that happened, but I just, I feel like they're going to do something with either Chandler or Joey. Maybe Phoebe has the babies or something. I just, I'd be shocked if they really made the finale the shocking part about like Ross and Rachel again. Like I would love it, but at the same time, I just, I'm trying not to get my hopes up because I really, the way it's set up, at least to me, it feels like they're going to be together. Like we're, uh, Ross and Emily. I'm very excited to hop into this finale. We'll see you guys in the finale though. Hopefully you guys enjoy this reaction and we'll see you in the next episode.